Hey, welcome into another video. In this video, we're going to implement the button here that does the web browsing. So we've done the layout in the previous video, and now we're going to actually make the Chrome browser do our bidding. So let's get started in the Java coding. So I'm going into the main activity, Java. The first thing we have to do is create a reference of the variables to the various buttons that are on our screen. So let's, uh, first of all, get the uh, name of the button here. So it's BTN Web. And then the other thing that we're going to work with is an edit text. And that was called ET Data. Both of those are from the layout. So let's go ahead and do a Alt Enter to import the uh, button. As you can see, the button is now part of the imports. All right, so now down in the uncreate area, we're going to create a button listener. So first of all, BTN Web is going to be equal to something that we can find in our layout. So we'll give it the r.id and btn web is the name on the layout. So what that does is it creates a value for the variable for button web. Next we're going to have a actual onclick listener. So I'm going to type in a dot onclick listener and we'll make a new onclick listener. So I'm using the type ahead options that come up here. And when I'm done I have a method for this click. Now I'm going to make a function called open web page. So for this function I'm going to send it a string. Well the string I'm going to get is from the edit text. So let's do etdata.getText and I'm also going to change that into a toString method. Alright so this function has to be created. Also the reference to the layout has to be defined as well. So etdata is going to have to be using the find uh, view by ID again. Let's do ID and uh, it is called ET data. Okay, so we've got ourselves a reference here. We've got a new function to create. Let's go and get outside of this onCreate method and let's create our new function. So this is only private, it only works inside of our methods here, and we'll call it open web page and it will be expecting a string which should be in the form of a URL. Now, how do we make this actually work? Now I'm going to get some help on how to open a web page. So I'm going to my browser and I'm searching for common intents. Here we are at developer.android.com. Intents common. So intents are the ability to call services of another program. So you can see there's quite a few in this list here. Alarm clock everything you want to know about setting alarms, how to use the calendar. So calendar is an external program, a camera intent. So I think that was one we've looked at before. Now we've got contacts. You can actually pull a contact in from the user's contact list. Now here's a nice one. We're going to use this later. Email, opening with optional attachments. So I'm going to go into my uh, text finding with control F and type in web browser. So here it is, how to load a URL. So it says here, it is going to use an action view item. So how, what does that look like? Let's see if we have some sample code. Certainly there is. So yours is probably listed in Kotlin, let's switch it to Java. And let's just take their code here and open web page string URL looks exactly like the one that we just started. So I'm going to copy this code and replace the one that I just started here. So paste over top of it. Let's see what it's in, what's in there. So first of all, it's expecting a URL, and it says we are going to parse the URL and turn it into a URI. So a URI is more broadly defined. It is a coded um, address. So whether it is a file location, a phone number, or an email address, or in this case, an actual URL, a URI is your man. Okay, so the intent needs to be imported. So let's import the class. And you can see that it is using, inside the intent, uh, an action view. So let's go read about action view. So an action view is supposed to accept a string that either starts with HTTP, HTTPS. It will be a plain text. It can also have an HTML format. And when it's done, it will try to open a web browser. Okay, what else does it do? So it says here we're going to resolve the uh, package uh, manager. 
So what that means is it's going to ask the user which application would you like to use to open up this URL. And uh, that means it will likely ask you if you want to use Chrome or Opera or, God forbid, Internet Explorer, even if they have that on Android. But you can pick your web browser, and then it'll start it. So that's pretty simple code. Let's see how well it works. So here the application is opening. Now it's supposed to work, right? So let's go in www and let's put in google.com as a web page and try web. Let's see what it does. So it appears like my web browser is not responsive. I click the web button and nothing happens. So let's go ahead and put in an actual URL. So I'm going to put in http colon slash slash and choose web. And this time you can see that the web browser starts. So it is recognizing here from this uh, resolve activity, apparently uh, it has not allowed us to uh, open up page until we actually have a real uh, URL. So let's come back and fix our code so it doesn't have to annoy the user with those HTTPs. So let's uh, switch inside of our open web page and let's check to see what the URL looks like. So we'll put an if statement in here and we'll ask if the URL does not, with the exclamation mark, does not start with the HTTP colon slash slash. If that does not start with that, then let's go ahead and add it. So I will do an append operation. So I'll take the string HTTP colon colon and add it to the original URL. And so that will just add it in case the user forgot. Now there's another case. Let's do an or statement. So the other option is we could also ask it if it begins with HTTPS colon slash slash. And if it does, then we'll leave it alone. All right, so now I'm going to rerun this application and see if that makes any changes. Okay, so the app is up and running again. This time I'm going to do facebook.com. And notice I forgot the W's. I also forgot the HTTP. Let's see what it does. So when I click web, at this time it interprets the, the line correctly. And so I'm ready to log into Facebook. All right, so there's the first example of using services on Android. And we have a web browser working. So in the next video, we'll send an email using the same techniques.